Manchester United legend Rio Ferdinand asked TNT sports presenter Laura Woods, Can we move on please, quickly, after talk turned to the Red Devils' poor start to the season. United have picked up just three wins in nine games across all competitions this season and they have also made their joint worst start to a Premier League season, having accumulated seven points after six matches. Ferdinand was in the studio alongside Woods and Jolien Lescott for TNT Sports coverage of Manchester City's 4-0 win over Sloven Bratislava in the Champions League when discussion turned to United's struggles. The concerning thing for me is that before a ball was kicked I was quite optimistic, Ferdinand said. The fact is we're seven or eight games in the season now and people are starting to question the manager and his job. I didn't see this coming that quick, I didn't see it turning around that quick and that's the worrying thing. Woods then pointed out that United have plenty more tough fixtures to come, with a Europa League clash against Port on Thursday followed by a trip to Aston Villa on Sunday. The games don't get any easier either, they get progressively more difficult, she said. Lescott then gave his thoughts on the situation, stating, There always should be pressure for the manager of top teams and obviously that will be the case for Ten Hag, but it's not just pressure. They're not expecting to win those games. They're going into games now where they're not favourites which is an unprecedented time for Manchester United. They're normally the favourites and it's a shock if they don't pick up the win or the three points. But in the games they've got coming ahead, Porto and then Aston Villa on the weekend, you're looking at them and thinking they'll be lucky to get anything out of those two games. They're not favourites and that's a worrying place to be. However, as Woods prepared to respond to Lescott, Ferdinand quickly chimed in and said, Can we move on please? quickly, and fans were not surprised by Ferdinand's comment, with one responding, don't blame him, 